What's up guys, it's Son of Beast and Terry Cruz here. This is the second game of the night as right now the Eastern Conference of the teams has been finished right now for the game two and now we're heading over to the other side to finish things up and wrap things up in game two of the second night for the conference semifinals. And this one is the last matchup. Okay, see Funders are ready to rematch against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now this part of the game, it's gonna happen again. But who do you think will win this time? This might be a one question answer and this could be a one difficult range in there. We're about to find out what goes on. Shaggy Gordix Alexander is with Josh Kitty. Lujan Stork with Jillian Williams and Chad Holmgren in center. And the other side is Mike Conley with Anthony Edwards. Carl Anthony Towns with Jaden McDaniels and Rudy Gobert in center. The last commentaries I have is Kevin Orlin, and he's along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry will be the sideline reporter, and David Aldridge is on the court side. Third commentary of the 2K Sports crew, and we're ready to go. We'll see you all later for the post game show for after this game, so you don't want to miss that one out, how that will happen. And now let's see who can win this game. Will it be a series tie or 2-0 for Minnesota? Let's get this thing down at Target Center. It's here for your starting lineups for your Minnesota Timberwolves. At four, it's the five. Number three, Jaden McDonald. And point guard, and five, point five, number ten, Mike Conley. The starting center, six, seven, seven, number twenty-seven, Rudy Gobert. Starting at point four, six, seven feet. Number 32, Carl Anthony Towns. At shooting guard, 6B, number 5, Anthony Edwards. The yeah, head coach for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Chris Fitch. There's some noise for you, Minnesota Timberwolves. Everyone, welcome to 2K Sports in another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Josh Kitty is out there with Gilgis Alexander and it's Holmgren in at the five spot. And for Minnesota, the wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. And it's Conley at the one spot. And you look at how these teams match up for the guard positions, boasting plenty of talent. And you think about it, Kevin, the skill level of today's players, arguably, at an all-time high. But nothing like guard skills to help you put on the show. Kitty, the pass to Williams. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. There's McDaniels. He doesn't hit that one. Nice defense from Dort. Passes it to Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over Conley. Conley from 12. Gordon Alexander. He has the tour jumper. SPA making it the routine. Conley kicks to Edwards. Three pointer. Dort grabs the miss. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. Kitty against Conley. Holmgren the pass to Williams. Back to Holmgren. And the shot is sure. over. Well, Operation is inside. Holmgren knows that's his shot. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder in their last game, a loss to Dallas. 
scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind, a step slower out there all game. Six to shoot. Here's Edwards. Now Anthony Edwards. To this game. And, you know, we need to keep seeing this from him. It's encouraging to see him sink the mid-range J there. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Oh, here's Edwards. Here's Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on board. Anthony Edwards. Edwards Alexander deciding where to go with it. Williams passes to Holmgren. Gobert pulls it in. For Minnesota, they've gone two for four from the field so far. Here's McDaniels. Conley left side. Pass to Towns. And here's Edwards. Over Giddy. Edwards. Anthony Edwards. He's got the second bucket tonight. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Esther Williams puts up a deep three. Conley grabs the miss. And he didn't finish the goal. He covers there, but they can't count on him to continue. Carl Anthony Towns. Assisted by Mike Conley. We're trailing by four. Outside Williams. The pass to Dort. To end the run. And he leaves it the door. Some physicality there from Lou, pushing past the contact and into the shot. The Timberwolves have gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Up top, Edwards. Giddy defending. Pulls it up. Kept alive. And the shot goes Go Bear! They're so good around the rim. Had that shot back before the defense could do anything with it. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing by four. Giddy gets to Gilgis Alexander. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. The last encounter was in Oklahoma City where they were able to handle the Thunder. Remarkable consistency for me. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. You know, the defense had no answer for it. Do that kind of damage on the road? Impressive. Well, you love to see that. Holmgren keeping his eyes up and his options open. The Minnesota Timberwolves come into this one after the win against Denver. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. Oh, Anthony Edwards! Rudy Gobert. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G side cam. Here's Williams. And two free throws are caught up, unable to get that on the air with all the content. And this one's supposed to go far. That's exactly what you need to do. Get him over here. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Two shots. Go to the line. And the first one at the line is good. We'll so the two shots are good. It's almost over. Great for teams that are out of the playoff picture. What's important now? Well, I, I think Kevin Kevin first you need to self evaluate. Yeah, check out your roster. No, it's really you keep who you let like go and then what you figure voice. out when you start Number thinking one. about Call who you guys to bring in. Both well, free throws good for Williams. Minnesota in the lead. Alexander Walker and the way it's good off the glass. Monte Morris. Inside 
It's just the ball they've got here in the first half. Oklahoma's in his going 0 3 from 3 points. Defense! Defense! Pass it to Avery. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City over Edwards. And it's good off the bat. Where the man is. How about this old school look from Hayward? Not afraid to knock down that mid range J. To heck with those analytics. Morris against Wallace. Morris, no good. The Thunder have gone 5 9 from the field here in the first. Williams, no good. That would have tied it. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Morris into the lane. Monte Morris. Basket of the night. They're getting on a roll inside. And their last three field goals have come. Chris Rain, of course. Take a look at Monte Morris for a second. You've got to be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second round pick to a season in the end of the year, never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. Edwards with it. Williams picks him up. Oh, no good on the triple. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten six of them shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. And Hayward at the We're keeping that ball tight like it's on a string. I love seeing Hayward get a little tricky with his handle and create for himself. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Wolves. Let's go, Wolves. Now Anderson. Still scoreless. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first. Defense! Side Williams. Defense! Hayward looking around. Wallace. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Timberwolves have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Here's Anderson. Count the match. Kyle Anderson. Finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Williams with the ball. Guarded now by Morris. Pass to Joe. Back to Williams. The pass to Williams. Four on the shot clock. Off to a good start as he has his first shot attempt. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. against Hayward. Outside Edwards. Takes a three. Tie game. That's the end of the first quarter. Stay with us as we OGC get to the Thunders, 18. Minnesota Timberwolves, 18. The end of the first quarter. There's only three more left to go. Second quarter's on their way after this. Underway so far, we'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. The Timberwolves shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. So for Oklahoma City right now. The post pair for him will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort in at the three slot. Conley the pass to go there. Six on the shot clock. And that's Carl Anthony Towns for three. Shooting big. Assist by Rudy Gobert. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. It's Dort on the wing. Gobert against Holmgren, and the shot goes down. Yeah, some contact in there, but Holmgren maintains his balance and able to complete the play. To the middle. And Rudy Gobert! Great lob and an even better. Oh, Mike Conley! Trailing by three. Duke is Alex. 
Alexander finds Holmgren. Gobert, Gobert, Holmgren, the bucket on the assist. He kills his Alexander. And then really keeping the ball, Alexander hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended. Nikita, Alexander, Walker. They're really sharing the show. And you know, Conley, Mike, I love Conley. In terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. And here's Gilgis Alexander on side. No good, he's off to a slow start. One for four so far. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Thunder have gone two and three from the field here to open the second quarter. And the ship by Holmgren. Assisted by Slam. Josh Giddy. Love seeing him finish with force like that. Conley dishes to McDaniels. Outside, Towns kicks to Conley. So he'll shoot two here. Alexander. One on Gilgis Ellis. This team is for five. There has been some talk of having an overtime play. Do it targets. A line for the Wolves. Is the case for that? Mike Conley. For certainty on how to line the broadcast. Two. Go right, Kevin. And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. And that one falls to Conley. Still a solid point guard. Substitution. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both sides. Jordan McLaughlin was checked in for Brooklyn. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Wiggins is checked in for Williams. And Conley drops a ball. Already a very competitive on free throws only fuels that. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. We're hearing our way down right now, but the first half is like coming into a little bit of a tight game over here. Mm, I, I don't know what's going to happen now, but they really are expecting what they really have to go for. They're not really just finding things out there. If they're going to keep it here going, got to watch out there. If there's something's going bad happening, I mean, they can't leave that open alone. They don't want anybody to get over it. In an uncomfortable way? No way. They need to be another way to get this thing through. We can't let that one happen out there. Not at all. Halftime show is coming up right now at this moment. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jensen Smith, and Shaq O'Neal are ready to get this thing over for the last part of night two as we will have another one pick in to have that next one set up. And I'll see you around later, guys, in the next part of the NHL game. As game three will be NHL, Leafs, and Bruins. Happening at Scotty Bank Arena. That will be only happening here at 8.30 p.m. on the go. See you all later, everybody, on the other side. But now, let's get back into the game. Kevin, call you for you. The staff sheet here for Carl Anthony Towns. Under trailing by three. Bill just Alexander passes to Wigan. Just a little bit of a for a run to this all. It's a real time. 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 It's Six assists and three points. He's such a big part of what they do. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. The first free throw is good. Let's expect for now, because the Wiggins is really trying to keep it in there. It's not always easy when you try to let that go off. But playing in there, it's not turning to be easier than what they're expecting. But keep it in there if they have a chance. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Timberwolves have gone three or four from the four here in the second quarter. Down low, Holdren with the steal. Oh, and a fast 
break for Oklahoma City. And Torres gets it to go. Torres got his second basket of the And that's up tempo basketball. And it's been so much easier to operate the open court where the steal triggers the break. They get it again. They get down to town. Pass to cover. Just five to shoot. Feeds to Robert. Over to the left wing. McLaughlin. And he shorted it. McLaughlin for three. Got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. The shot is good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Holmgren's got all the time now for the Thunder. against Conley. Outside, Towns. Back to Conley. To the wing right side. There's McDaniels. Almost, but it rolls out. The Thunder have gone 5 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft part, Jaden McDaniels has more than a play his And, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but look at him now. Hey, left mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. Out to Conley, lets it go from deep. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Thank you very much, Kevin. Oklahoma City is a franchise that has to have patience. Coach Mark Dagnall said, there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident and that we're going to bet on. That's developing, having a good environment, trying to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. All right, DA, thanks. Dude first. Dude first. Gilgis Alexander. Here's Wiggins. And it brings us by Gilgis Alexander. This is the ball. Shady Burris Alexander. Just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, Come out to the Wolves. Now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Yeah, things not going their way. He wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Some ad change for what? I mean, who could definitely go with that? It's a great way to have it in there. I mean, I think keep on coming back already. Well, maybe what they are expecting now. I mean, they can definitely just try to have it all. I mean, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, it could have been that. Good as that, but hopefully, this might be what they're taking. You never know. The halftime show is coming up right away here soon, so we've got our next one coming in, so we will have that one on the other side. For the first half at the end, and then we will have the number one on the other side. That second half coming up on its way down towards the other side. That'll be the next games underway here, and then with the second half, we'll be starting days soon after this one. So don't worry, we'll have, we got you covered back. You'll be on your way soon, right after this. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for McDaniel. Edwards, he's checked in for Michael Conn. Monte Morris subbed in for Jordan. Number five, Anthony Edwards. Number 23, Monte Morris. For Holmgren. Cameron Williams comes in for Wiggins. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Dort. And Wallace subbed in for Josh Giddy. Hayward, right side. As the Gilgis Alexander. Gordon Hayward, all since the ball. Shady New Warriors, Alexander. Got four assists, not enough. Timberwolves trail by six. Morris passes to Anderson. Towers looking around. Pass to Morris. Trying to 
Two minutes remaining in the fourth uh, bridge. Two minutes. Watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We've got second half action for you. If the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Chet Holmgren has been sensational. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's it's been set up to us so far. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. Conley is the point, Edwards plays on the wing. And it's McDaniels in the three. So that's the two. Conley! Towns sees an open player and rewards him with a nice pass. Just about caught it be time. Conley against Gilgis Alexander. Williams kicks to Dort. And rebounded by McDaniels. And he 
did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Kitty finds Williams. Now, who doesn't like Vesper basketball? They're on the 15th place. They work the real stats. They score from the real NBA with the teams who have scored the most points in transition this season. The Thunder in fourth with two shots. And I mean, they got the athletes to run the break all game long. So that's their edge. They're always looking to take advantage. Good from Williams. And both free throws good for Williams. Timberwolves trail by six. Outside Conley. That's a foul called on Shields. Oh, that's a foul. 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 That's a and this is Conley's game. He's just terrific with that big range. The D has to be much more concerned. The Timberwolves have gone two or three from the field to start the second half. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Here's Towns. And Towns. Carlos Anthony Towns. Towns finishing. Time. Every time I have a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree, I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. The NBA playoffs of the second round of 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. Adidas. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. Stay tuned for the next game as we have tomorrow night's game, as we only have one game here for you. As the Maple Leafs are facing against the Boston Bruins, that happening at 8.30. And then other games that will be happening here is the Bolts versus the Hurricanes. That will be the first part of the game, and then the second game will be the last. Take all of it in between. As the Jets take on Stars. Now back to you, Kevin. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Putting up about 18 points per nine rebounds and three assists and you can't help but be impressed by his numbers you know guys i think he's the engine of this offense he makes them go without his scoring i think they'd be a totally different team Kenny the pass to gilgis alexander action the boys alexander the assist is on Kenny josh did it who sits on the night right now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from david aldrin thank you kevin you more Coach Mark Dagnold said he's definitely physical. Before he was just trying to shoot over people, but now he's taking up space using his size and strength. He's getting a lot more around the basket. Kevin? Yeah, he is getting into him. DA, thank you. Trains it from the out the yard. Giddy has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Good decision there from SDA. Tough though to miss a guy that open. Passes it to go there. And the officials have called the Olympics into the game. They just have to take some numbers from the OPC ball. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top 10 in rebounds per game. 
And yeah, he's such an efficient scorer, understands the offense, moves without the ball so well. That's why he's top five in field goal percentage. Hilgis Alexander with it. He's got eight. Here's Williams. Again, the yeah, third score. One of the things you've got to admire and Jason respect Burks, about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always an attack. Edwards looking it over. Over George. Shot by McDaniels. No good. He is single handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold stream. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Oh, that's a ball. I'm just kidding. That turns over now. Triple Wolves ball. He was scoring on foot and how was his bill trending for Luke George? And then maybe it's shocking. Maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. And I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And the Thunder making a switch here. Joe's checked in. Conley kicks to McDaniel. The Timberwolves again can hit. Fairly here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Stolen by McDaniels. Giddy against it. Outside Conley. There's the triple. Give on by Williams. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Here's Joe. Edwards defending. Pass to Joe. And that comes off the Joe. assist by Giddy. Assist. He's got four assists in the game. Timberwolves trail by nine. Outside Conley. Three. Go Bear. He's got a great set of skills. Assisted by Mike Conley. Like a flashy pass, but he will make the smart one. There's a pass to Giddy. This one for three. And the Thunder, Josh, another three. Four, three. Ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get. Let's go. Wolves. 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 And statistically, more young players in the league today, Greg, than in decades past. Might be a reason the age limit wasn't lowered in this new CBA. Yeah, I mean, the veterans say, hey, we're already having a tough time sticking around. And I think having those guys helps on and off the court. Have a little bit of a quick break. 54-44. Looks like they won an entire series. We'll find out how they can. Gonna be a tight one in there. We'll have a hard one to scoop. All sell then. Ready to go. Back to you, Kevin. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. Okay, C. Foul. Gordon Hayward. It's for his first little foul. So from C. Foul. And I'm going to look here at the scoring breakdown. A line for the Winter Wolves. Nikita. Alexander Walker. This is two shots. Selfishly, just finding the open man. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. Hayward finds Giddy. Passes it to Hayward. Just five on the clock. 20 feet out. 
and a ton on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Two rules, trail by nine. Here's McLaughlin. Okay, so you got Jalen Williams is scoring his personal foul. This is a routine foul. I'll show you the NBA's highest score. Live for the Minnesota Wolves. Jordan McLaughlin. Two shots. run of this season. It seems their offense has improved. I mean, they're really getting comfortable with one another, and their production has also increased. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. Now here's Giddy. He has six. On the wing, Williams. Back to Giddy. Hayward with the ball. Turkin on McDaniels. That one goes in. You know, that's Hayward's game right there. I mean, he's out there to take and make these types of jumpers. And he's just so many of them were important. Alexander Walker passes to Reed. Now Anderson. Over Hayward. That one rolling around and runs out. The Thunder leading by nine. Wallace outside. Softly drops on the floor. Wallace is on his first point in this one. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Inside, there's McDaniels. Thunder with the rebound. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. Wiggins dishes to Williams. Back to Wiggins. On the wing, Wallace. McDaniels defending. Wallace gets to Hayward. Pass to Giddy. Releases. Reed with the rebound. Timberwolves trail by 11. Here's McLaughlin. And it's sent back by Wallace. With the drive. Josh, yeah. And Bones, I speed that time from Wiggins. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Alexander Walker. Nikita Alexander Walker. Four three. Four points now in the corner. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. On the wing, Giddy. Back to Hayward. Pass to Giddy. Fires from deep. Gets a draw from beyond the three. Giddy's got the lead up to 13 now for the Thunder. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. To the paint, here's Reed. Makes it off the goal. No. Reed to finish that one off. From deep, three-point territory. That shot is the end of the third quarter. So it's the Oklahoma City Center Wolves. 52 points to end the quarter. OKC Funders. 63. A lot of good shots. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball and how about the perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. One quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So for Oklahoma City right now, Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the center, filling up the middle. Now 
top side, Edwards. The pass to Towns. Over Williams. Towns, no luck. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Williams looking around. Here's Holmgren. And he can the lead. Holmgren's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Thunder. Conley kicks to McDaniel. Gobert down low. Defended by Holmgren. And what makes Holmgren so dangerous as a shot blocker? And he does it on the interior as well as away from the basket. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the basket is great. And the Thunder lead by 15. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working to get inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Conley with a wide open look. Mark Conley! Ten points for Assisted by Rudy Gobert. Just about any defense right there delivers a nice pass. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. For Mike Conley, count that one. Jake Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling with the two teams. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And the Timberwolves call timing. So a couple games are going to be happening in there, so if you're sticking around with the NHL, this will be only two parts of the game. First off will be the Lightning versus the Hurricanes at Amalia Arena at 7.30pm. Then the second like game will be right across on the other side as they have the Stars facing against the Jets. That's happening here at 9.30pm. And then just a couple more days left, then, then, then a couple days and then there's only one game and the NBA in the playoffs will be happening one time only. Right in between those two. And the arrow game will be all you know for. Stephanie what they all call for it. Canucks and the Golden Knights at T Mobile Arena. That'll be at 9 30 p.m. Keep your eyes games here only on Summit Beats. Subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. Back to you, Kevin. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, DA. Hey guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. I asked for one thing, intensity. He said, I need you to crank it up to 11 out there. That's how we turn it around. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. McDaniels in the post. Defended by Gordon. Out of the box. Old ball. Thank you. 
Free throw drops for Holmgren. And, and Holmgren is such a talented player, a lengthy, wildly big man who's still growing into his frame. This is it to go there. Here's McDaniels. Shader! McDaniels! Assisted by Rudy Gobert. Monster smack, guys. I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. I tied Dort. Shot clock at six. Home green kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Rebound, Minnesota. Go Bears got rebound number eight now on the night. As to McDaniels. Fires the three. Carl Anthony Towns for three. He's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Knocked away from about 19 feet. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Down low. Now here's McDaniel. He's guarded closely from deep. A put back and then. Go Bear! Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And great instincts, too, guys, anticipating where the miss was going. Outside, Torch. Home Bear against Go Bear. Holmgren can't hit. Timberwolves trail by 11. Over in the corner, Conley. Shoots over Gilgis at the tent. Mike! It's Conley! Conley's got four points on the board. I'm at OKC Wonders. With a much higher percentage on the field. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Does not look happy. Their defensive rebounder has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Now, I have one of the confidence feelings about this one. You know, the Wolves are just trying to, like, answer back. They're not really, like, trying to do really well. You know, this one can't get enough to go with that one the point of race. You know, that curriculum is not turning to be easy enough at all. It doesn't need somebody else to do. We gotta find another way to try to like stop them that. Well, will the Wolves try to get back and do this one? I don't know. I mean, it's their call. I mean, they gotta have that one in there. Right? The right choice because they need to make sure they have on straight away. And they don't want to get anybody behind. That's all that happens. Well, it, it's gonna be like a close game it is, but, uh, but I don't know if this will be catching up, but hopefully that the OKC Clippers, if they miss more than their one time, they might be able to get a comeback, actually. All right, we'll definitely do see. Now it's time for New Balance Player of the Game. Off to you, Kevin. Who do you think this will be? And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Chet Holmgren. They continued to feed him throughout the game and with good reason. They realized he was hot, had the hot hand, and they wanted to ride that. And he refuses to let them down, coming through at every turn. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. The Thunder leading by nine. Right side, Dort. They can use a bucket. Trying to get over his giddy. And Dort getting it to go. And the defense must be scored for LJ. There's no excuse way to get this kind of deep position. Gil Giselle with Xander against Cup. Out left of the way. There's McDaniels. There's no pair. And the rejection by Holmgren. Outside, Gil Giselle with now the basket hitting. This is the win. Back to Giddy. Gobert with the defensive effort. 
It's Phil Bear with the ball for the Timberwolves. They trail by 11. Edwards can't hit. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. From deep three-point land. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Go Bears. McDaniels passes to Go Bears. Two minutes remaining the regular season. Two minutes. It's Edwards on the wing. Giddy defending. Offensive rebound. Towns. It's good. Infinity. Towns. And you know, for all his perimeter skills, Towns also bringing that physicality inside. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. It's three corners off the mark. Minnesota with him. They're on an 11-2 run. Over in the corner, Conley. He for Go Bear. Rudy, Go Bear! Always encouraging to see Go Bear score. He's the whole offense is working. Mike Conley. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And the basket to Giddy. And a cross by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Assist the ball. Even for Shit, a your words are similar instinct, just fanning the flank. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming in attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And they just didn't have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Thunder. Look at the number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball work. And when you look at the season for these guys, they can come next to the line of the Shot caught violation! Tonight, it will make it ball! Come to almost expect for his greatness from this show. Such an overall great performance it was for Jed Holmberg. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, it was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. At all five players for the Timberwolves. From Minnesota. Peter Kutrow. In the Butler. Ronald Anderson. Here's Alexander Wong. He got Alexander Wilkins. Reed misses. Reed. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Joe. And they force the shot clock. Shot clock violation. Great team. The boys ball. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Shay. Balance scoring for you all tonight. What is working offensively? Yeah, um, we're just trusting each other, playing for each other, uh, doing the sets that Coach has us doing. Um, and really just, just being unselfish. Um, when you do those things, things are going to happen. It was a great performance all around tonight. Congrats on the win again. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Older, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later. All right, guys, thank you so much. With all the accomplishments being said, first tonight and second night has been finished. Here's how you did with the total statistics. 59, 57 for the field goals for the OK City Funders. Then it was 31 over 27 for the OKC Funders with the three pointers. Then it was 100 free throws for OKC with 10 and 42 for fast break and points in the paint. They have done really well for all that. Well, it's just what they always get, really just say it up now. I mean, 
Play hard, play smart. 13 points for second chance points for Minnesota Timberwolves. 22-27, bench points and assists. Turned out to be OKC Funders. They did really well. 14 defensive rebounds here for Minnesota Wolves. They almost 26 defensive rebounds with 3 steals, 66 and 5 out of 8 turnovers with the points off. Both teams have 4 dunks. And this is what's all of them that they happened here for OKC Funders. And it was 8 dunks for Minnesota. 18 and 69 was their time of possession. Well, that's definitely what they can happen now. Now for 3 star players of the game, I give it over to you, Terry. Why, thank you, sir. That's right now, with the first part of it, we get this thing started off for the top spot. Carl Anthony Towns with 14.6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. 6 out of 7 field goals, 2 3 pointers are made, and only 18 performance effort with 3 dunks. Now, for number 2, I give it over to you on the other side of it, as I have another look right in between your range. You may have expected, how did that happen? Well, it did not. Most of their appearances are turning to be a little bit of confusion out there, but here it is. Josh Giddy, 14 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists, 1 steal, 5 out of, five out of, not, five out of 11 field goals, 4 three-pointers were made, and 24 performance effort did really well. Just got to play on that point of it, and you got to have it in there with all you count for. Exactly. And your new balance player of the game is Shadow Grant. 4 blocks, 1 steal, 2 assists, 9 rebounds, and 15 points. 7 out of 10 field goals is made, with only 19 performance effort, and 1 dunk. He done so well for himself. Yeah, I mean, I was just able to go with that. I mean, doing it by himself, I mean, she's doing it great. Can't let him get rid of it for good. No, no, no. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. That will be the end of the part of the walk, and for checking on me for a course. If you enjoyed this video, please, don't forget to like this video. And also, subscribe the button below. And leave a like and leave a comment, subscribe button, and, and follow them on the social media. It's everything down here, so make sure you do what I ask you to do. In the meantime, thanks for joining with us, and we'll see you all again for our next game. Peace out, folks, for a while. Let's see NHL NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. I'll see you all, everybody, next time on the other side of NHL. We're ready to get this thing propped up. See you next time, everybody. Bye bye. Have a great night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.